Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone the Arena. So we are uh, on the brink, the brink of the end of this run with our priest right here. Which, um, in all honesty, if I remember correctly from uh, what I remember about this deck, is really not all that much of a surprise to me. Its, it's goal is kind of disjointed and unfocused, uh, if I remember correctly. Like, we have Inner Fire, which doesn't really combo well with too many of our other cards because uh, we also have a bunch of cards that are prioritizing uh, keeping the unit alive to have his strength grow over time. I don't know, but Inner Fire can always be used uh, very effectively on opponents that have like high health but low, uh, I mean low health but high attack. So um, I'm sure like, like Inner Fire, I, I mentioned it there as one example, but that's just like one of many things that I think isn't necessarily uh, the best thing in the world about our deck right here. But, you know what? I think it would be perfectly fine if we do lose uh, this Priest deck in this episode, because pretty much my favorite thing about Hearthstone the Arena is definitely constructing the decks beforehand, because that's where the... the, the I don't know why, it's it's funny that the deck construction in the arena is my favorite part as opposed to the actual battles, but it's it's really cool and exciting waiting to see what uh what stuff you end up getting in that run, you know? Like seeing, oh man, w will I just get horrible, horrible luck and not get anything good, or will um or will I just build a bad deck, period? Or uh will I get really lucky and get some Get a nice combination and plan things out well enough to build something really cool, really effective, and really strong. And uh, that would hopefully do well in the arena. So here we are, playing against uh, Diawedes. Kind of a weird name, but I don't know, I just respect, dude. Um, if you want to be a Diawedes, then... I mean, I'm an egg, so I can't complain. Um, we are going to get rid of three of those cards, because uh, those are all like... Pretty much all late game stuff that we don't want for now. Imp Master can be very effective in the early game, so hopefully we'll be able to use her effectively. Sucks that we're going up against a mage. I really hate mages. They're one of my least favorite, uh... In all honesty, they may be my least favorite uh, class to go up against. If I were to pick a favorite to go up against, I think it's Rogue. Because Rogue, um... Back a, a, long, uh, a long ways ago, in the earlier development of this game, when it was a bit older, um, people used to really, really fear rogues. Maybe we should just pass up on this turn and play Imp Master next turn? I think I would... I mean, she didn't play any cards. Let's, let's wait as well. Well, since she's first anyways, I don't feel bad giving her a, uh, turn advantage over us. Next turn, we'll play Imp Master. Ooh, that is made extra good for us, because now she's not gonna summon anything, and we could just go right ahead and play Imp Master. We could also make Imp Master a 5-5. That sounds really awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, try that. Obviously, we can't do this. Can't do that this turn. But next turn, we'll make Imp Master a 5-5 after we heal her. She's gonna lose one attack on this turn, but that'll give us uh, one of these 1-1 one, one imps. The nice thing about these imps, uh, sucky thing is she'll the since it's a mage, she could take these out really easily. Just you know, one use of hero power and they'll be taken down. But that's a nice way to make her. Uh, uh, to, to make this mage, like, have to waste a lot of mana. Like, it's gonna be very irritating for her to have to continually, um, uh, use her fireball to take out the imps. That does make this a bit scary, though, because Raging Worgen is a very, very effective opponent. Um, so I need to decide how I want this turn to go. Because if I give, if I heal this thing, if I heal her now after using Inner Fire, she's going to be able to take it down, because they'll take him to two, he'll lose one health summoning an Imp, and then she can use Fireball on it. So, I'm not sure if this will work out any differently, but let's try it this way. Use Inner Fire on it now. That will uh, give, uh, give her enough to kill him. And then he'll end the turn with four health. Awesome! Okay, that worked out the way I wanted it to, because now she'll go down to two, and the fireball won't be able to kill it. I, th I think that was a smart way to do that, so let's uh, give a little gong for that move right there. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that inner fire would have been better served later, but I feel very good about the uh, amount of board control we've used. Um, oh no, that's almost certainly a kill card. Oh, a silence! 
Okay, um... Oh, that silences everything? That sucks. Uh, I think that deserves well a well played. played. That, that was pretty good. Give a minion plus two health. Hmm... What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and summon... What do we- what do we want to do? Let's summon River Crocolisk. This thing has 5 health max, so I really want to take out that dude on this turn, so unfortunately we're gonna lose all of our minions. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves then and just, uh, take this guy out. Sucks that we had to use up all of our monsters for that, but you know... And we didn't really get too much of a benefit out of that card in- in- in the end, thanks to, uh... His silence there, which is a real damn shame. I, I don't know. That actually, that silence was very well used on his, his part. Actually, I was thinking it was foolish of him, potentially foolish of him, not to save it. But that that was very effective, and it makes me sad. Oh, I freaking hate mirror image. <laughs> oh, if if there's any like definition of an annoying card, well. mirror image is it. Also sucks with the Shattered Sun Cleric on the field, of course. Could summon Venture Company Mercenary? That would be a very early game uh, threat, uh, because obviously he's so powerful. But I, I don't think that is necessary. We don't have anyone to heal, so I think we'll wait on our Bloodfend Raptor and play something big. So let's go ahead and play... Let's play Silver Moon Guardian. He'll be able to survive one hit. She'll almost certainly use Fireball for that one hit, but you know, that's that's perfectly fine. And we'll uh, do that right there. That thing can do the three damage, but it'll be a trade. I could make it so he can't trade. I I think I would rather save Power World sh Power Word Shield though. Maybe use it on a Bloodfend Raptor. I think they would be better used on a Bloodfend Raptor, or of course something bigger like a Sentient Shield Master. That would be a perfect card for a Power World Word Shield to be used on. So we'll try saving it for now. I really like how River Crocolis has like kind of a beard. He has these little stringy things falling from his mouth. It looks rather silly. Uh, silence is... Actually, that's good. She could have used the fireball and saved that minion, so I think she made a big mistake right there, because that would have been same amount of mana that would have kept more cards in her hand. Obviously, one less minion on the field. But I think that silence would have been much better to save and use a fireball instead for the same mana cost. I don't know if that'll help me in the long run, of course, because she, uh... This player, uh, Diawedes, is certainly has a good amount of board control here, which is, uh, very upsetting. I just hope she doesn't have a kill card, because, what is this? If you control a secret at the end of your turn, game plus two plus two, that is frightening! We need to take that thing down. Down to Monkey Town. So, let's... Sentient Shield Master. We could play Acidic Swamp Ooze, because there's not much of a point to him, because, uh... May just can't have weapons. Let's go ahead and play Sentient Shield Master. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what? We're actually gonna save Power Word Shield because I think we need to get monsters onto the field. Let's uh, it doesn't really matter which one we play. Let's just play Blood Bloodfriend Raptor. We'll try use Power Word, Word Shield before too long. Reason why I want to get monsters on the field is in case he has a kill card to take out the uh, Shenge Sengent Shield Master uh, after we use that on him. If this guy gets buffed, it's only plus two. We could just use this to kill him. Um, unless she places down two secrets. But I doubt with three cards that this mage has two secrets. That is frustrating. I really hate Polymorph. Such a good card. Oh well. Okay, that, that's to be expected, I suppose. Definitely smart of him to uh, prioritize board control of, over other options. Now, what do we do? I think it might be a good decision to do Acidic Swamp Ooze and then Venture Company Mercenary. We could buff him, making make him incredibly strong. A 7-8? That would be a very scary uh, force to reckon with. And then if this thing gets buffed, the, the Venture Company Mercenary could take him out pretty easily. So let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll still have card advantage in our hand, um, and we could obviously get a couple more cards by playing down a- or one more card by playing- by playing Power Word Shield. If he summons a, a strong beast, uh, or a really hardy beast, I should say, we could use Holy Fire on it. 
Ugh, I hate those charge minions. I, I probably should, uh... I, I don't know, you you guys will have to help me on these, because I, I have such mixed feelings about them. Whenever, whenever I see enemies using them, I'm like, yeah, that was used very effectively, good move. But whenever I think about putting them in my deck, I'm like, they're kind of awful. But I, I think they're probably much better than I think. Ooh, who gives a minion plus to attack? I think I should definitely try to take down this ethereal before too long. Destroy a minion with the attack of five or more. Okay, we're going to... What do we want to use? Uh... Let's use this one, because... Actually, no, we should probably use this one, because this one has a more constrained usage. Ha has to be used on a minion with five attack or more. So we'll take him out that way. And then, and then for the card draw, and of course to make him a bit scarier. Actually, you know, I'm gonna wait a turn because I want I'm I'm I want to try to draw out a kill card uh, that the opponent will use on on my Sengen Shield Master. So we'll actually wait a turn, see see what he does here before using this, because we could always save it for the Raging Worgen because that would be very helpful for the Raging Worgen. Deal 5 damage. We'll probably, especially since he's attacking me directly, we'll definitely use tol use Holy Fire on this next turn. I think that would be uh, used to great avail. Too bad we can't summon uh, use that and summon a monster. So let's take him down. They'll heal us a great deal as well, which is obviously uh, very nice. And then do we use this on him? I'm not sure. Let's heal ourselves. Yeah, let's use it on him. That way he'll... Uh, He'll still have uh, four health after we attack him. Ooh, it's that guy. Can't attack at the end of each turn, deal eight damage to a random minion. I do not like that right now. That card is not going to be very good for us. So a fireball can still take out our venture company mercenary. So can a uh, firewall? I think that's what it's called. So maybe I should have saved it for the Raging Worgen, but it's nice to get that card draw. Whenever you cast a spell... Oh, no! Okay, there he's take. Oh, no. Okay. That's actually not that bad. Him being frozen is okay, because it's obviously better than him being dead. So I, I'm, I'm fine with how that went. Let's place out our taunt, so he can't deal any more damage to our uh, dude for, for, to our venture company mercenary for a bit, and just end our turn here. Obviously, the, the downside to keeping our venture company mercenary alive is that, um... Where it's gonna be, we're only gonna be able to summon like one monster per turn. Good thing about that, we still have a powerful mon minion on the field, and um, we could, and it, it'll, it'll force us to have to be conservative with our hand. Ah, oh, I was afraid of that, and that gives him a freaking card draw. How irritating! That gives him more card draw as well. God damn! I really hate. Uh, Oh, god damn it. What a frustrating series of hands for him to draw. I think we're gonna play Ragnos the Fire Lord next turn. Because that'll be something very intimidating for him to have to fight. We can't... We're not gonna place Flesh Eating Ghoul yet. Let's place out this guy, heal ourselves, and go ahead and see what happens here. This is taking a big gamble on this game. Maybe it would have been smarter just to play these two, but um, so far it worked out. Didn't take out the ideal one, but took out one of them, and that's all that really matters. Can't attack at the end of each of your turns, deal one damage to a random enemy. RANDOM ENEMY! So it can't deal damage to us! That's my bad! This card is much better than I thought it was. I thought it was any random minion. Still wish he could attack, but that's, that's actually pretty alright. He really needs to take out this thing, then, I, I would say. I mean, he could keep focusing me down. Next you, you play cost zero. Dude, I... Uh, whew. His flesh-eating ghoul is going to be very scary. Oh, but now we got another really strong monster on the field. So let's play him at, down. We'll place our own flesh-eating ghoul. And uh, heal ourselves, as opposed to using the Ripper Crocolisk. 
now one of his minion, now one of his uh, creatures is going to take damage. Uh, will die. And it was the one that I wanted to take damage the most. That is awesome. Now our flesh eating ghoul is going to get super, super strong. This is actually a very, very good draw for us. I can't believe I hated that card so much. Ugh, that's going to be a bit annoying. How much damage are, is... Is she still going to attack me directly? That's the question here. I think that's actually a really bad choice right now. Um, because I'm going to be able to continually heal myself. Granted, if she gets a kill card, I'm pretty sure she wins. So, um, healing myself is definitely a priority, at least in my opinion. Let's go ahead and place down our Squire and the Raging Morgan. Now, we need to take out the Strong Dudes first. Gadgets and Auctioneer is definitely a good choice, but actually, what can she do? Next secret you play costs zero. Um, hmm. That brings him at four. I think it's, uh, unfortunately fine to, t to allow our flesh-eating ghoul to die, because we need to take out his really strong minions. Uh, so, bye-bye flesh-eating ghoul. We still have a lot of minions on the field, so that's okay. And now another one of his minions is going to die, or he's going to take eight damage himself. God damn, that was the wrong one. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I hate that guy so much. I freaking hate Water Elemental. It's a very annoying foe to face. Um, we are not out of the water yet. But the good thing is, the way I see it right now, as each turn goes on and on, we'll be more and more safe and secure, because we'll keep on healing ourselves. Uh, as of this turn, we'll still take more damage than we can heal if he attacks me directly twice. Personally, I think that would be a horrible decision, um, because then he's relying completely on luck. But then again, honestly, I think he needs that luck to win at this point. Um, a firewall would cause horrible problems for me, because that would kill all of his minions except for my uh, Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Um, He's in a bad he's in a bad place. He's going to choose to deal the 4 damage. I think that's reasonable. Um oh, 5 damage. I forgot about the hero power. That means one fireball can kill me. Very very scary spot for me to be in. Got lucky with this dude though. Uh how do I want to play him out? I think I want to do this. Choose to uh, uh shoot him. That can allow him to deal damage to him. This is going to enrage uh, my Mr. Man here. Wait, wh why did my game freeze? Okay, that was a bit scary. <laughs> that was honestly really, really scary. Um, I thought things were going to go bad there. We could heal the Raging War Gun, but I think that's a, a very bad choice. Um, and then do we trade? Nah. Keep our minion alive. Oh, I probably should have traded and dealt the 8 damage to him, but you know, I think that's okay. Then let's actually keep a monster in our hand, just in case something goes wrong. There's uh, straight up 8 damage to him. If he does not get a taunt out this next turn, or kill me, we win. I think we win, actually. I'm pretty sure this is g good game, or GG. Oh man. Lag! I want to say well played! There we go. That was a- that was a very scary game. Very, very close. Um, and I- I think a lot of luck did- a, a lot of luck and, uh, well-played moves helped us. Oh, Mind Control. Mind Control's an interesting card. It's like one of my least favorite cards in the game uh, when used against me, of course. Um, interesting card, though. It used to be 8 mana, but then they, uh, they nerfed it because they thought it was, uh, too good. I, and I have to kind of agree with that. I, I think that card did- Oh, nice! Our, our thing changed a little. Oh, shoot. That must mean we're against a new tier of opponents. That's scary. I would be happy with a 3-3, though, if, if this game right here does not go all that well for us. Um, hopefully it'll be a short one, though, since we're already about 20 minutes into the video. Uh, that's, that's the one bad thing about this series, I would suppose. I usually don't like to have my series uh, be around the 40-minute mark. I like it, like, 30 minutes. 30 minutes most, but I also don't like them being under 20 minutes, unless it's a first impressions video that goes pretty quick. So, um, it's one of those weird balancing things. So, for, for this series, I think I would rather have it go a bit too long than this too short. 
So this is interesting. I always find it funny when it's a warrior. Nice, we're going second. I love going second. I always find it interesting when it's a warrior versus a, a, palad uh, a paladin. We're the paladin, right? No, the paladin's the other dude. A, a warrior versus a priest. Interesting. Uh, I love that silence card. I always find it interesting when it's a warrior versus a priest, because they're both healers in their own way. Like, of course, he, he heals himself by giving him ar himself armor, which I, which is in some ways better than the paladin's he I mean, the priest's heal. And, of course, the, priest's, the priest heals himself just by doing the standard heal. So let's uh, say hello to this good sir. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, do we want to play the Wind Fury? We could coin into Bloodfriend Raptor. It, is it a better idea to save the Wind Fury? That's the question. This way I would save my coin. So in all honesty, let's do it that way. Might be a stupid choice. Maybe I'm putting him out there just to die. Um, and there probably are much better uses for this card. But, you know, I... To, this allows me to save the coin for later. Oh, interesting, interesting. The, a, a, my Wind Fury will, will at least be able to live. His uh, damage that he uh, deals out is going to be completely countered. But, you know, it'll, I'm happy to have him live for longer. Honestly, for the most part, I feel like this wind, this young uh, dragon hawk is a pretty bad creature. I don't think he's all that good. So, uh, I probably just don't know how to use him, but... You know, this guy didn't say hello to us, so let's greet him one more time, and if he doesn't say hello, we'll, uh, give him a little threaten, of course. See how he likes that. Oh, shoot! Shield block is one of my favorite cards with the, the warrior. I, I usually only like to put one in the deck, because if you're in a bad situation, it's kind of just prolonging the inevitable. But, uh, but in many cases, it could be very, very effective. Do we want to coin into one of our Silver Moon Guardians? I mean, why not? Might as well use it sooner rather than later, you know? So let's put him on the field, and then let's uh, just deal out a lot of damage on this turn. Once again, enough damage just to bring him back to 30, which I think is pretty funny. Um, but you know, that's perfectly fine. Close the gates! Wow, this guy is playing so defensively. I both like and hate that. I hate that he has so many cards in his hand, but I really like how he's giving us all this board control. Very, very frightening, to be completely honest. So let's... What to do? Let's play one of our Rigor Cro River Crocolises. Let's give our blood friend Raptor extra health, and also the give him that card draw. Nice, the Squire is very good. I mainly did that for the card draw. It, would, it probably would be nice and, and smart to some degree to have just held on to that card. But, um, but you know, I'm, 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 I like what I got. Did this guy just get the worst mulligan in the world? Like, did he start his hand with all high, high mana cost creatures and destroy all minions except one chosen randomly? Damn. Okay, so that's what he was waiting for, and interesting choice. My apologies. Luckily, the one that we would want to live the most was the survivor, so that makes me happy. Let's go ahead and play uh, our Silver Hand Knight, so we could start getting that um, that like minion build set up again. Really, this is very interesting because I feel like the standard warrior deck is an early rundown deck. You know, like try to take down your enemy as fast as possible, as early as possible. So it's very bizarre to see him playing this kind of late game warrior build. Oh, oh no! That's a nice combo. This guy certainly is making a. Uh, Definitely playing for the long haul, though, if he's getting all these combos going. Sucks with that card, though, because I'm going to be able to trade that card for nothing. Um, yeah, he's about to lose both of his monsters, and I will basically have very little negative on my part. Like, let's... And he's going to lose his weapon. This sucks for him. I, f I feel kind of bad about this turn. So let's uh, place our acidic... A uh, our acidic swamp ooze, so we could take out his weapon. Not the most powerful weapon in the world, but I feel uh, better taking it out. And uh, get 
get that handled without any negative cost to us, and then get this handled with very little negative cost to us, and of course that gets our uh, flesh-eating ghoul much stronger. He does still have a card advantage, which is very, very frightening. Ooh, his name is Ghost. I like that. I like the simple names. Presumably, he'll attack our flesh-eating ghoul. Plus one less per attack of your weapon. That's an interesting card. That's actually probably a pretty good card, since that was only one mana for him. Or one mana. And he found an alternate method for taking out our flesh-eating ghoul rather than attacking it himself, so that's uh, obviously a positive for him. Our flesh- I mean, our uh, acidic swamp ooze already had its use, so we'll probably just trade uh, it for, for this dude. So let's place another symbol- uh, I mean, Silver Hand Knight. Ready, sir. Do we also want to put out the River Crocolisk? I honestly might want to save it. Means we'll just let two mana go to waste, but... In case he has another field killing card, I don't necessarily want to put everything out on the field right now. Let's just heal our squire just to... Just to be a little, uh, cocky. <laughs> well, maybe even a little bit rude. We could have healed him, I'm pretty sure we can. But, uh, obviously that would not be the smartest choice. Oh, I really hate Boulderfist Ogre. He's an annoying card. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly unit plus one health. That is scary. We definitely want to take her down. Luckily, we'll be able to take her down pretty easily with our Squire. We could boost his attack. I don't think that would be very smart, though. We could also silence him, though. Um, I don't know if that's worth it, though. We'll save our inner fire. Uh... Do this trade, because that's necessary, 100% necessary. We'll place down our Silver Moon Guardian. I think we should silence him. That's... Uh, is that a good choice? I'm not sure. Let's place a River Crocolisk at least, though. I'm not sure if that's the right move. Because if I silence him, then these two minions will be able to take him out. But I don't know- but that's only one health brought down by the use of the silence. I don't know if that's the right choice here. Huh. <sighs> Frustrating. We could always use the inner fire instead. Let, let's silence him! Might have been really stupid, but but I feel good about using that. And then and then he only has five health left, which means this is uh, dwindling for him rather quickly. I'm also pretty scared though because uh, th this could go any number of ways. Taunt and divine shield. Oh, that's a really good draw for him to get now. Oh, what's he gonna do? Give a damage minion plus three plus three. God. Too bad that, that isn't backwards, that would be so much nicer. Give a minion plus two health and draw a card. I think we want to use that for the card draw. So who do we use it on? Let, let's use it on him, just to make him even more irritating. Give a friendly minion plus three health. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know how- I don't know if this is gonna work well in the long run. But his taunt is going down on this turn. So now we- now we have- Now we're gonna have an 8-8 with Divine Shield on the field. Man, this is irrita- uh, interesting. So that goes down like that, and then we finish him off. Now we have an 8-8 and a 6-6 on the field, and he has a 9-6. But we have no cards in our hand, and he has three. This is either the end, or the beginning of a long haul of very interesting random things that are going to go down. So there's our trade there. Oh, he's relying on that next card, I presume. Because otherwise, he probably will have, uh, no, 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 not a taunt! Anything but a taunt. Give your, your weapon- Oh, man! I cannot believe we won that game. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, we, things were looking very good for us since we still had 30 health, and we had- I don't think he did any damage to us all game. That's a little sad. 
Maybe he did a little bit and we healed it up, but but I'm not sure what happened exactly. Ghost, that, that was a well-played game. Very intense and very scary for... I, I thought it was, at least, towards the end. I'm very happy that we had some positive stuff working out with this uh, uh, Priest deck, though. I, I thought it was... With these two losses early on, I thought it was going to be much worse than it was. Uh, only three more wins for us to break even. Obviously, our odds are definitely against us, uh, especially since we're going to be going against uh, greater and greater built decks, or lucky, or greater, 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 greater deck build, uh, greater, greater constructed decks. Uh, better players, or just lucky players to get this far? Who knows, maybe I'm one of the lucky ones, because I really don't think this deck was constructed too well. Um, who knows, maybe I'm just wrong though. Uh, maybe I've been lucky, maybe it's been good play and stuff like that. But, uh, anyways, uh, very happy with how this, this, this deck has ended up turning out so far. So, thank you all for watching! Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.